Hey there, and welcome to MMA Daily. Here's what we've got lined up for you today. Starting off, MMA fans react to successful MMA return of Francis Ngannou in PFL. Moving on, Bilal Muhammad explains why he believes Conor McGregor needs help. Next, Armand Sarukyan reveals how he can defeat Islam Makachev in UFC title fight. Lastly, Alexander Volkanovsky reveals plan to compete on UFC 312 card in Australia. After everything that he has been through this year, Francis Ngannou's MMA return was a triumphant one as he stopped Renan Ferreira in the first round. The main event of PFL Battle of the Giants ended up on the ground early on after the former UFC champion secured the takedown. His Brazilian opponent was able to threaten with a triangle choke, but once Francis made his way out, he positioned himself to unload strikes. Several unanswered ground and pound strikes too many, in fact, laid Ferreira flat out on the canvas, leaving an emotional Nganu to share a touching embrace with his coaches. Nganu spoke in his post-fight interview about how he was confident that he wouldn't have lost a step during his time away, but dealing with his emotions on fight week following the tragic passing of his son earlier this year was very difficult for him to overcome. Check out how the pros reacted to Nganu versus Ferreira below. UFC welterweight champion Bilal Muhammad has explained why he believes Conor McGregor needs help as their war of words continues. As we know, Conor McGregor is a bit of an enigma and that much goes without saying. He is constantly keeping the mixed martial arts world on their toes, leaving many to wonder whether or not he'll ever fight again. Alas, if you truly believe the Irishman, we will see him back in the octagon at some point in the future. When he does return, one potential opponent is welterweight king Bilal Muhammad. While it wouldn't make sense for him to skip the line at 170 pounds, there's something about Conor McGregor's aura that means he'll likely get whatever he asks for from the UFC. In a recent interview, Muhammad spoke candidly about some of the issues he believes McGregor is suffering from. As you said, there's something in the air. I think that's cocaine, what they call. This guy is always high or drunk, and the only way that he's gonna imagine beating me is if he's high or drunk. There's nothing that'll ever happen. He won't be coming back to 170 pounds. He won't be coming back to fighting. He needs to go back to rehab. And like I said, if he needs a ride there, I'll help him out. I'll get him an Uber there. But yeah, somebody needs to help this guy. He's not gonna be fighting anytime soon. Armin Sarukian has detailed how he can dethrone Islam Makachev. Makachev is the reigning UFC lightweight champion. He defeated Charles Oliveira via second round submission to capture the gold back in October, 2022. He's had three successful title defenses since that fight. Prior to capturing UFC gold, Makachev earned a unanimous decision victory over Armand in a competitive fight. In a new documentary posted by Red Corner MMA, Armand Sarukian explained what it will take to get the better of Islam Makachev in a rematch. Be better everywhere. Be prepared for five hard rounds. With a good gas tank, good wrestling defense, good boxing, and good taekwondo, if I manage to fine-tune everything in my game and not let him do what he likes to do, outsmart him in some certain aspects, then I can beat him. Sarukyan went on to share his belief that many of Makachev's opponents have lost before they even stepped inside the octagon. That's why some champions dominate because their opponents lack self-confidence. Like, what is Islam going to do? I'm not thinking about what he's going to do. I'm focused on what I'm going to do and how I am going to attack. Islam is good in all aspects of MMA, but it's not like there is an aspect where you can't outsmart him. It's possible to outplay him at boxing, kickboxing, wrestling, and on the ground. You just need to be ready for anything. UFC star Alexander Volkanovsky has revealed his desire to compete on the UFC 312 card in Australia next year. Over the course of the last five years, Alexander Volkanovsky has established himself as one of the best fighters of his generation. With that being said, recent defeats to Islam Makachev and Ilya Topuria have left many to wonder what's next for him. While Volkanovsky is still an incredibly popular figure, the two knockout losses have left him on the outside of the title picture looking in. He's taken a decent amount of time off since then, which is great, but it's not clear whether or not he's going to get an immediate rematch for the featherweight crown. In a recent interview, Volkanovsky 
spoke about his desire to return in Sydney, Australia at UFC 312 in 2025. You've got Ilya and Max fighting next weekend. I'll be there watching and keeping a close eye on that one, obviously. Maybe get into a face-off. We'll see what happens with the winner. But hopefully, I'll be fighting the winner here in Sydney, right? That's definitely what we want, just depending on what happens with the title. If Max wins, is he going to lightweight and doing the BMF? Will that mean that I'm doing an interim title here against Lopes or something? I'm not sure. If Ilya wins, whether they can bring him to Sinde, we'll see. That's the plan. That's what the UFC wants. That's what I want. I think that's what everyone else here in Australia wants as well. Thanks for tuning in to MMA Daily. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time for more exciting updates and analysis. Take care.